A building crane in one of Dunray's shutdown facilities became a waste package itself when a much larger crane reached in through the roof and lifted it off its rails. The decontamination and waste handling facility, codenamed D1207, was built in 1957 to serve Dunray's chemical plants and the next door Vulcan site. The central part of the building is a large open area approximately 36 metres long, 11 metres wide and 11 metres high. The main bay was served by an electric overhead travelling gantry crane. The crane, which had a 7.5 tonne capacity, was used to move large items of equipment such as flasks. Now the building is redundant and is being cleaned up before its eventual demolition. The team waited for a relatively calm day to carry out the manoeuvre, as there was little margin for error when lifting the eight-tonne crane, which spanned the entire width of the building. The two-and-a-half-tonne cross-travel bogey was lifted off the crane and lowered to the floor. Riggers wearing radiation protection clothing and respirators fixed scaffold poles to the crane to prevent the slings slipping during the lift. In one smooth move, the crane was lifted off its rails, turned 90 degrees and lowered to the floor. The lift was the culmination of a year's work by a team of decommissioning experts from site licence company Dunray Site Restoration Limited and its decommissioning subcontractors. DSRL senior project manager Robbie Manson said that the removal of the crane was part of reducing the radioactive hazard in the building. The 1207 crane decommissioning from the building has been the final piece in the jigsaw for the upper building phase of the programme. Work started in the summer last year with the complete upper areas being scaffolded and accessed. The roof ventilation system was then decontaminated, stripped out and size reduced as low level waste. The roof structure was then decontaminated and sealed with a heavy duty sealant. Work later progressed into the crane which are decontaminated and also sealed. The next phase of the project is the removal of the contaminated walls and floor. This will take the next year to complete and will lead to the third phase of works, which is to de-sheet and dismantle the building over the summer months of 2011, completing the project by the end of the year.